This is Supreme with another review. Today I have the Power of the Jedi and the 30th Anniversary Saga um, Imperial Officer. Alright, this is what the, um, it looks like if you get the package for the Imperial Officer for the 30th. I don't have the, the other one with me. I just ordered them loose online. I'll read you the back of it real quick. Imperial officers work on board the Death Star, Star Destroyers, and other vessels in the Galactic Empire Starfleet. The ranks range from the highest position of Moff down to the lowly rank of Private. The one unifying trait is a complete loyalty to the Empire they serve. Yeah, I have some issues with this, uh, with this um, description of the Imperial officer. For one, you can't be a Private and an officer. I'd say most of these guys, all of these guys are officers. A, a Private would probably have some different type of uniform. Another, uh, they're definitely not a Moff. I have Grand Moff Tarkin, and I have some other higher-ranking people like Admiral Mani, and uh, their uniform is entirely different. These are probably mid-level level officers, I would say. Uh, most likely, their flight crew. They are pretty much made to go in the Imperial Shuttle. Um, in fact, they're on the Imperial Shuttle box. I'm going to do a review on that later. And if you watch the movie, Part 6, very closely, uh, the Imperial officers wearing this, this uniform... Uh, actually fly the Imperial Shuttle. I've also looked up a Japanese site that does Imperial uniforms and um, they also have a theory that this is the uh, the the non-flight suit of the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot. So this is what they wear when they're not, you know, in their flight suit. Um, I'll go through the variants here. The original figure we have who was blonde, or excuse me, had black hair and steel blue eyes. He is actually the one you see on the package. Also, they have a blonde variant with blue eyes. And, I was told this is the hardest one to find, they have a brown-haired one with a smaller head. Blue eyes. I was told by Jedi Master in Australia they were impossible to find down there. That's all we had in Anchorage. The Toys R Us here, we had rows of them they couldn't get rid of. I find that rather funny. Um, if you order the 30th anniversary one, you also get a commemorative coin. They come with the standard E11 Imperial Blaster. Since these are basically a repack, this is a Fan's Choice repack, they don't have holsters on them, but they do have some detailing. If you want to zoom in, I'll show you. I've got some detailing here on the forearm. They've also got an Imperial Insignia patch on their shoulder. They've got an officer's crest on their, on their hat. I'll go through the articulation here. They've got a swivel head. Some of the newer officers, like Lieutenant Gentleman, has a removable hat, but they do not. Uh, they have swivel shoulders, uh, swivel biceps, swivel wrists. Makes it good to put them in the shuttle and make it look like they're reaching for different controls. They've got a swivel waist, swivel hips. They're non-articulate in their knees or ankles. They're still all right for articulation, though, for what you need. Um, they don't quite stand at attention, but in the military, we call this stance parade rest, where you're basically holding your arms behind your back, and your feet are at shoulder length. They're spread apart. So um, whenever I have an Imperial lineup, these guys are always on parade rest. All right, so um, I'm going to give these guys a 7 out of 10. They're an older figure that's a repack, and they're still pretty good. I mean, they're, they're a good army builder. In fact, if you're the type of person that likes to <coughs> collect stormtroopers and stuff, I would at least recommend getting a couple of these. Um, yeah, they get they get seven out of ten. You can still get them for a good price on eBay. They're out of stores right now, and I, I don't think they're going to repackage it for the newer collection. Um, if you have noticed, they have a uh, the shield generator assault pack. They have they're they're coming out with another imperial officer. He's not as articulate, but he has a better looking uniform. He has. Um, for the for the assault pack, he's actually a repack of Moff Jar Gerard with a different head and a black a black uniform, but um, these guys aren't bad. So the, I'm going to give them a seven out of ten here, and uh, that concludes our review. Long live the Empire.